Hey everybody, this is Dawn Vandeman, Senior Leader with Epicure, and I am coming to you today to let you know about all the new stuff for spring summer that you're going to want to have on your patio, on your deck, in your kitchen, on your table, in your grill, on your fryer, in your smoker. You pick a place, you're going to want it. And the other thing is to let you know some of my absolute must-have favorites for uh, this summer. Some of them are bring back, some of them are new, but you're going to want every single thing I'm talking about. And I'm gonna feature quite a few jars today. Um, I'm not gonna do any of our seasoning sachets or our desserts, but I'm gonna focus on our jars today because it is the best of summer, um, the best of spring. And I am looking outside at snow still. It's April 1st, 2nd, 4th, April 4th. I have, this is my Ba Humbug uh, mug with me, uh, with one of our new teas. I'm drinking it warm today because I am ready for spring. And this is my uh, ode to, I'm tired of the stuff that we've got outside now. All right, so we're gonna kick off with what I'm drinking actually. Pop Shop, this is a new tea for summer, spring, you guys, it is lovely. I wasn't sure what to expect, to be super honest, when they announced it at conference. Um, I tend to like Coke if I'm going to drink pop. We don't usually keep it around the house soda for you in the South. But this is fantastic. It is a way to have less calories in your day, still have that flavor of a cola without having to have the calories of the cola. It's, um, it has a pack of 20 when you purchase it. And it says brew one to two tea bags in a cup, steep for five to seven minutes, chill for a refreshing caffeine-free iced tea, top with soda water if desired. So when we did our launch, we did top um, these with soda water and it gave it a, that little fizzy, that carbonation that you're used to. I don't know how to explain it besides the fact it tastes like a cola without the, like I said, caffeine, the, the upset stomach you can get if you have too many uh, bubbles in your day. But um, it's... It, it's odd. It's not a flat pop. It's not like you've left pop outside and it went flat. What it is like is like the taste of it, again, without the carbonation. It's the craziest thing. It tastes like you're drinking a cola. You need this in your day. Um, I'm planning on using these for my grandson this summer to make him uh, a less caloried, uh, less carbonated, less sugared uh, uh, root beer float. Um, you know how people have Coke floats. Um, you can do that with it. You can put it in uh, smoothies if you want to instead of using regular water. Um, I would use things like a little bit of lime in it um, to kind of be like a, like a, a lime Coke. Super uh, versatile, super fun, and again, you're going to want it in your day. The second thing is they have out for a new tea is our ginger mule. Um, I've been drinking this, and again, I am not normally a tea drinker, you guys. My husband always drinks like brown teas or whatever, black teas. My dad grew up um, having me try sun teas all the time, and I was never a fan. But this is really good. It tastes a little bit like a ginger ale. Um, you can make Moscow mules out of it. You can make, again, different um, alcoholic beverages. But same thing, um, caffeine-free, five to seven minutes. Uh, steep it, and you can pour it over ice. Super great. They do have the blue butterfly. Somebody already asked me about that. They have the blue butterfly tea, which is that fun tea that when you um, steep it, pour it over ice, and add a little bit of lemon juice to it, it gradiates from uh, blue to pink. Um, and that is, it tastes like a blue raspberry slushy. Like I said, I, I, I'm struggling for my words because I'm shocked. I am the girl who said I would never drink tea. I'm the girl that likes maybe more floral or fruity teas. And I am loving everything that we've came out with. Um, pink lemonade, same thing for summer. Um, and the pink lemonade, I am planning on pairing with our new strawberry margarita mix. Um, and you can uh, add this to your pink lemonade tea, throw a few strawberries in there, add some vodka, and you've got a fun summer drink. Um, by the way, this also obviously makes a fantastic margarita, but I've been playing around with it. You can put the strawberry margarita in muffins, top it on pancakes. Um, if you're doing, like I said, a, a muffin, you can just put it a little bit on the top, but it does make uh, actual strawberry margaritas. I'll open it and you can see. Um, and everybody loved it when we had it for our uh, season launch here with our team and our organization. Okay, next up, let's go into some, oh, one more thing. You need this, okay, you guys? It is our caramel power up mix. You need it in your life, you want it in your life. It's a protein powder. It has both fava bean and pea protein in it. I am not healthy. I keep saying this, I didn't get fat because I don't like good food, but I'm down 80 pounds, still kept it, still wanting to lose more, need to get back on the tracking bandwagon. But 
Uh, I made this yesterday with some uh, cucumber in it instead of, I was out of spinach, so I used cucumber, um, some grapes, uh, a little bit of peanut butter, um, and the caramel, you guys, fantastic. My husband's like, did you put a ton of sugar in this? I'm like, no, he's like, it tastes really sweet. I'm like, I know, it's crazy town. Um, I wasn't a person who went to the gym a lot. My son will watch this and start laughing because he's the person who's told me, you know, have some protein for breakfast, have protein powder in your shakes, your smoothies. And I was like, oh, really? But I could totally see adding this to, again, even some ice cream if you want to adulterate it, like my grandfather back in the day was slim fast. Um, and you could um, make a fun uh, summer treat for outside, but healthier version. Okay. Oh, by the way, the caramel, same thing. Pancakes, muffins, waffles, everything you bake totally could go in. If you've got a picky eater like my grandson, help them get some extra protein in it, hide it in their sweets. All right, now onto the jars. I'm gonna just kind of go all over the place. I got a lot of things in front of me. Burger seasoning, you want this in your day, easy to add to burger patties. You can sprinkle it a little bit on steak, your briskets, anything like that. Um, it's a must have staple. Big burger sauce, if you know, you know. This is a Big Mac sauce. It is to die for. You can thin it down and add um, a little bit of cream or whatever and make it into like a salad dressing. Um, I actually put this in my burger patties. I sprinkle it on my salads um, just as it is raw. We go through jars. I mean, you're gonna find hundreds of different ideas and ways to use it. Um, I love it as a sauce to dunk in my french fries. The Big Burger sauce, it is the fastest thing that sells out in the summertime, and it is the number one item that everybody comes back to throughout winter and says, do you have this, Dawn? I ran out, I know I should've listened to you, I should've bought some more to stock up on. Big Burger sauce, you want it. And again, huge, beautiful flakes inside there. Um, lots of seasoning, power-packed uh, flavor bombs in every darn bite. Uh, Tuscan Chicken Burger. This is not just for chicken, you guys. Again, any protein you want, you can add it to, but I love adding this to my pasta salads in the summertime. Um, if I'm gonna do like a chicken salad, this is great. Egg salad sandwich, again, just a super versatile seasoning, and it tastes amazing. Don't forget, you can always go to um, websites, my website, eatingepic.com if you want to, or if you have a different uh, consultant you're working with, you go to their website, and you can put in the word Tuscan Chicken Burger, and all you have to do is um, hit recipes instead of product and hundreds of recipes for everything that we have will um, open up for you to enjoy All right, bami. This is a new one for summer. This is a Vietnamese seasoning You can make it into sandwiches. That's the traditional way to use it But for our launch, um, I just shredded a bunch of chicken added this and added a little bit of uh, honey um, Some cilantro some cucumbers or whatever and you can just um, have it like on a Hawaiian slider and You can have it hot versus cold um, Super great flavor palette. Again, lots of big chunks of seasonings inside there. And have fun with it, play with it. I like um, to use it as a salad dressing. I've been having really a good, um, like a slaw uh, mix, a, a really good flavor palette with that lately. Okay, O Canada, this is back. This is a traditional um, item for Epicure. You want it in your day. Why do you want O Canada in your day? Because you guys, it's versatile. It is a little bit of a sweet glaze. It's got some um, cane sugar inside there. The best dang thing on popcorn. It gives you a little bit of savory and a lot of sweet. Um, I'm not a big fan of kettle corn. It's like kettle corn XL. Um, it gives you more flavor. And again, literally, I don't care if you microwave your popcorn, do it on the stove. All you've got to do is uh, sprinkle this on top of it. It is to die for. Yes, you can use it on your chicken. Yes, you can use it on your kebabs. You're on veggies, what have you. But on popcorn, amazing. And who doesn't want popcorn all summer long while you're watching movies, hanging out in the backyard with your family? Uh, take it to drive-ins. You need this. What do we got next? Oh, holy cow. Cajun fries. Okay, Cajun fries. This amazing product. Uh, sprinkle it on sweet potato fries, regular french fries. Um, you can um, add it to some mayo or sour cream for a hamburger or hot dog, um, a little sauce. The Cajun fries has just enough kick to it. And I used it actually to top, I made some chili the other day and I used this to sprinkle on top of it. Gave you that uh, cheesy flavor instead of having all the cheese in it. Less calories for you, gives you the flavor you want, a little bit of extra kick. And that way my husband, who is a weenie when it comes to uh, a lot of spice and I like it, uh, we can adjust it as needed. Use it all summer on everything. Next up, teppanyaki, back, teppanyaki. Great sauce to put with steak bites. 
um, with veggies uh, and you can make it as a sauce or you can use it as a seasoning. I always think outside the jar. Um, if you like a flavor palette, use it for the ways that you want to. I love making it as a sauce though and um, on homemade steak bites to die for. Oh, lettuce wraps, same thing, great idea for lettuce wraps. Okay, another brand new one out for summer, kick and jalapeno. This one has flavor bomb in every single bite. Um, we actually, for our season launch, did it with a cucumber salad. Cucumbers, tomatoes, onions, a traditional salad. But I was like, you know, yes, you can make it into burgers. Yes, you can do that. But what else could I do with it? Um, why not kick it up a notch? And so literally added just a few sprinkles of it into my normal like mayonnaise dressing mix. Oh my gosh, not a joke. Every single person here, there was like 10 women and they're like, can we have a cup of it just to drink it? It was so dang good. Enough flavor again that you get to choose how hot or spicy you want it. If you like things um, a little extra spicy, put it on meatballs. You could put it uh, again on salads. Um, don't just think of it as a dipping sauce, you guys, or a sauce for your burgers. Put it on everything. Uh, polo sausages in the summer, I think this would be fantastic with. West Coast Burger, this one's back as well. It is traditionally a fish uh, taco burger thing that you can add to it if you wanna do fish tacos or fish burgers. But I like the, and I'm not a fish person, I use this all the time, you can tell it's almost empty. Um, I use it for, uh, again, uh, cucumber salads, tomato salads, you can put it in your egg salad, you can put it in uh, chicken pasta salads that you might have in the summertime. Okay, barbecue chicken and rib rub. Again, must staple for most people who are smokers. Barbecuers, your traditional um, barbecue without all the garbage in it, and it has a better flavor profile because it doesn't um, load it with that sodium that just um, hides poor ingredients, right? This has to be good ingredients. Cheesy fries. This is another brand new one for summer. You guys, cheese fries, wake it as a sauce, just sprinkle it on top. Uh, so good. My grandson liked it with his hot dogs the other day, dunking it in. So again, something versatile for you to use in all areas of your life. It can be used on French fries, sweet potato fries, mashed potatoes, twice baked potatoes. Um, if you're somebody who does like thinly sliced uh, potatoes on the grill, my dad used to do something like that with a seasoning very similar to this. Um, when we would go camping or on a pontoon boat and just put it in aluminum foil, super, super great. Okay other favorites. I'm already at 12 minutes. Ah, I need to go. I need to be done by 15. I promise you guys I won't be more than 15. Pina colada. Yes, you can make pina coladas on it. It's back. Make it with pancakes instead. Your traditional pancake batter that you might add only a little bit of water to. Add half pineapple juice, some crushed um, pineapples, a couple tablespoons of this, some macadamia nuts. Call me and talk to me about how sexy your best pancake of your life is. Uh, Southwest Ranch. Super great alternative. If you like regular ranch, you need that, obviously, but the Southwest Ranch Southwest Ranch is great for taco salads. Um, add it to your pinto beans, your black beans, add it to your ground beef, and then you've got a layered dip easy to take out on the deck with a little bit of flavor that your uh, guests are going to love. Creamy potato salad back. I'm going to shock you guys here. If you know, you know. I have never made this with a uh, potato salad yet. What I love it for is adding it to your... Um, cottage cheese. If you're a cottage cheese fan, you're never going to go back to regular cottage cheese. You need this, sprinkle it on, changes it up. Um, you can also put it again, egg salad, um, deviled eggs, you can tell go-tos for me, um, pasta salads. This creamy potato salad is a great flavor profile. It's also awesome to add to soups uh, as a sipping broth even. Teriyaki, want it, like it, need it, teriyaki. Um, Pesto. We don't talk about our pesto enough. This pesto is fantastic. Super easy, light sauce. You can add it to um, either cold or hot pastas. An easy thing to add when you've got guests maybe stopping by or a bunch of teenagers at your house you're not sure how to feed. Our pesto is great for all that. Lemon dilly. Have to have it in the summer for your cucumbers, um, your baby potatoes, your green beans. Guacamole. Again, staple. Rice, eggs, um, your chicken. It is not for guacamole. I sell more of this at vendor events to people who say they hate guacamole, but what you hate usually is the avocado, not the spice. Zatar, new one for us. Zatar, my, wait, there it is. Zatar, have to have this great Mediterranean profile. Montreal steak, yes. Uh, chili flake and garlic. Add this to honey, you guys, and pour it over meatballs um, or brie cheese or your cream cheese. Okay, I've got 20 seconds left couple things coming up. The Epic Life Challenge. Make sure you join the next challenge. It's a great um, health challenge, not just for weight loss. 
And what else am I going to talk to you about? Uh, make sure that you host a foodie gathering, grocery shop with a few of your friends, get some free groceries. And last but not least, uh, become an ambassador. We have the best team in all of Epicure, without a doubt, without a question. And we would love to have you come in and do what you're already doing. Cook, post a picture of what you're making, share with friends and um, get a discount on your groceries. Make some money if you want to, earn some trips. Um, and just join a great foodie community that loves to share um, good food real fast that tastes fabulous.